guys, today I'm here with a fun video. We are going to be chatting all about Fenty Skin. I got a sneak peek of the line and I've been testing it out behind the scenes for about three or four weeks. Of course, it takes time to get to know skincare, but I wanted to give you as much information as possible. There will be timestamps down below if you'd like to skip ahead to learn more about the cleanser, the toner, or the SPF. I will also have links down below for my full Fenty playlist with some lip swatches, full faces, foundation reviews along with playlists that are a little bit more in detail about my favorite moisturizers, my favorite SPS for oily skin. I've got lots of videos on the topic so be sure to subscribe if you enjoy but let's go ahead and get started. So right off the bat, if you're like, I don't care about your review, I just want to know where and when I can get it, it is launching on July 31st at FentySkin.com, I believe, along with Sephora in Canada and the US. I actually don't have a ton of information on the line, but they did send it to me ahead of time, like I said, a few weeks ago. So I have been testing it out behind the scenes to be able to give you at least a couple of impressions and give you some information that may help you decide whether or not you want to pick it up for yourself. Of course, if you're not familiar with Fenty, it is a, a line more or less owned by Rihanna. It's under Kendo Brands, but she is you know, more or less the, the face of it. So always excited to support her brand. And I love so much of the makeup that they have launched. So I was really, really excited to see this skincare line. It is uh, cruelty-free as they are a cruelty-free brand. So if that's important to you, it continues into the skin line. And for the line itself, there is the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser, the Remove It All Cleanser. And the price for this is going to be $20. $25 American, which I think is actually a pretty good price. I don't know the Canadian prices just yet. Then we have the Fenty Skin Fat Water. This is the Pore Refining Toner Serum, and this is going to retail for $28. And I always love an SPF. So this is the uh, Fenty Skin Hydro Visor. Sorry, I'm just looking at another uh, another screen here. This is an SPF 30 and this is going to retail for $35 American. So tack on a couple of extra bucks for the Canadian dollar if you're Canadian like myself. So let's go ahead and move through the products one by one and I will give you my thoughts. So to kick it off with the cleanser, this is the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser, a remove it all cleanser. It says it's 4.9 fluid ounces or 145 milliliters. I believe that to be a fairly standard size for the cleanser. And just overall, I think the packaging of everything is gorgeous. I do really enjoy uh, that the packaging itself, the lid is sort of built in, I guess. So sometimes you have a cleanser, you drop it, the lid snaps off. This way you're just kind of doing that. And I feel like that's nice and clean. And I will say right off the bat that a little bit of this goes a long way. So even even if this was like half the size, I feel like you would have this for quite some time. This says hyper clean, soft skin without stripping or drying, daily cleanser and makeup remover all in one. And as for directions, nothing really out of the norm, day and night, remove makeup, dirt, impurities, wet skin, work into a lather and rinse. So right off the bat, for me personally, I have oily, acne prone skin. I don't tend to necessarily break out from ingredients. The acne that I have is generally cystic and hormonal, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but I do find this to be a type of cleanser that I would use at night. It is very thick, like I said, a little bit goes a long way, but even if you have oily skin, it's not like a thick heaviness uh, that I feel like you'll feel like feels too greasy on the skin. I get what they're getting at with saying that it is a makeup remover and a cleanser in one. That being said, I do prefer to use something that is a makeup remover and then follow it with a cleanser. So for me, this is definitely a texture and a formula that I prefer to use at night. In the daytime, sometimes I'll use a, my a micellar water or um, a, like a lighter cleanser as to not overwash my skin, but it does feel very hydrating. So I do feel like the the majority of skin types could enjoy this cleanser and if you are the type of person who really doesn't want to like go out and buy uh, a cleansing oil and a makeup remover and a cleanser then this could do the job I will say the time that I did use it for makeup removal purely for just makeup testing I did you know, do kind of the double cleanse with just this cleanser and it did a good job, but I feel like I still prefer the results if I use especially something to remove my mascara. It just didn't do as great of a job there. But as a nighttime cleanser, as a cleanser to use after I've worn a full face of makeup, I do enjoy it. Something to note that I can even tell just right here right now is the scent is quite heavy on all of these products. It's sort of a floral sweet scent and it is pretty scented so if you have any sensitivities whether it's in your nose or on your skin that is something to keep in mind for um i can't remember on the toner let me re-smell the toner 
The toner, definitely not as much, but the SPF and the cleanser for sure have a very strong scent. I do find, however, though, because this is a cleanser, the feeling and the scent does not last on the skin. So overall, pros of this cleanser, it does feel like it gives a deep clean. It does feel hydrating without feeling heavy. You are, you know, getting a, quite a bit of product in here considering you have to use a little bit less than the average cleanser. Like really, when you try this for the first time, if you pick it up, you don't need much. But the downfall for me is definitely the scent is quite heavy, but I do enjoy it and that won't stop me from using it. So moving in to the Fenty Skin Fat Water, this is the Pore Refining Toner Serum, 150 milliliters in here or five fluid ounces. I mean, this looks gorgeous. <laughs> I love the kind of peachy toner against the lavender. It shouldn't matter, but it it does slightly. Uh, this says it instantly refines the look of pores, reduces the look of dark spots, even skin tone, and fights shine without stripping the skin. As for directions, day and night again on clean skin, apply on the over the face with the fingers. And I do again like the packaging on this in terms of cleanliness. You're getting that twist lid, and you can just put it out into your hands and pat onto your skin. This has a thicker texture than a water. It's somewhere in between. I would call it like a a water gel, a gel water, not. Having Heavy at all all skin types could enjoy this it's not going to be super super hydrating if you have really dry skin but it is nice and hydrating but if you have oily skin you will still enjoy this I don't feel like it's something that adds any heaviness and absorbs really really quickly into the skin but if you do have a drier skin type you may still want to go in with a hydrating serum or if you do have an oily skin type you may want to pair this with like although it says it's a toner serum you still may want to pair this with uh, a serum that has something like a vitamin C or salicylic acid, but this is said to do a lot of those things. So one of the great ingredients in here is niacinamide. It is a very popular ingredient and something that is especially good for those of us with larger pores or um, any kind of texture issues and oilier skin, but still good for everybody. Something else in here that's a little bit higher up on the list is witch hazel, which is a very common toner, but uh, an astringent. So depending on your skin type, but depending on how you relax, um, you, your skin reacts. Uh, there's kind of two schools of thought on witch hazel. Some people love it and swear by that whatever brand it is that makes witch hazel. I feel like some of those people just have great skin genetically. <laughs> and then there's other people who don't like it. I'm not gonna lie, I am not. I obviously care about the ingredients in my products and I research them for videos, but I'm not going to not try something just because it has a certain ingredient in it. Um, and that's just kind of how it is. I'm just gonna present the information and you can do what you want with it. So I love the texture of this. I love the way it feels. I did still use, you know, other skincare with these products as well, if you're if you're curious, but I do, I do think it is a nice product, but I do see some people having issues with the witch hazel potentially. And although it doesn't have a strong fragrance to smell it, and when it goes on my skin, like as much as the other ones, it does still have fragrant thing to keep in mind. So then one of the products I was the most excited to try was the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor, what do they call this? Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. And I've got a ton of videos on my favorite SPFs for oily skin, for deeper skin. I will link those down below. This to me, I think is a gorgeous product. Like you would never say this is an SPF, which I think is kind of fun and feels very luxury. Something interesting about the packaging is it twists up and then you pump from here and you twist it back down. Something even better that I love that companies are doing now is this is a refill. So we will be able to repurchase the refill, which I think is cool because packaging matters, but so does the earth. So <laughs> this is at least a little way that we can find some, some balance in between. So this definitely feels like somewhere in between a moisturizer and an SPF in terms of texture. It doesn't have the super thickness that we feel or we recognize with a classic SPF, but at the same time, it isn't as light as something like a cream gel moisturizer that have become more popular lately. But I think it has a really beautiful texture. The scent on this one is strong. So same scent as the cleanser, but because you're putting this on your skin, I really felt like this scent actually lingered and I don't, hate the scent I don't love the scent but I could definitely do without it probably probably prefer it to the scent of an like a typical SPF but it is leaning a little bit florally to me not like the powdery floral but just I don't know just something to keep in mind Importantly to me, and not really unexpected, I guess, is this doesn't leave a white cast. Like, I haven't tried it in photos, but on the skin, it rubs in beautifully. It has a pink tint to it, but rubs in really, really nice. I mean, I expect that from Rihanna. 
that is, you know, that would be shocking if it did not work for deeper skin. And I do feel like, I mean, I'm not even that deep, but I do feel like, and in, in what I've seen as well, that this will work for a big variety of, of skin tones without that white cast. And it will play nicely under makeup, which is also really important. That being said, those of you with really oily skin, this may be a little too hydrating for you. Kind of depends on if you plan on wearing makeup, if you plan on wearing a matte foundation or powdering over it a little bit. It's not that it's greasy by any means, it actually is beautifully hydrating. It made my skin feel really plump and hydrated and, and dewy but not greasy. But I think of those of you who have super oily skin, in Toronto it has been incredibly hot and this may not, this is not going to be the maddest SPF out there and it, it doesn't claim to be. Uh, it says that it is... Uh, light as air, hydration, invisible sun protection, defends and brightens the skin while reducing the look of pores, and it is oil-free. So that is something to keep in mind. It does have the niacinamide in here. It's got glycerin. It has aloe juice. So there are good ingredients in there that are skincare based and then of course you're also getting the SPF protection SPF of 30 which is good kind of the minimum I believe and um, in terms of like you know a, a minimum place you want to start for skin protection no matter your skin tone it's important for everybody and skin type and it is a chemical SPF it does say that it is free of um, made with care for coral reefs and that it does not contain oxyben oxybenzone or ox Tinoxate, which I believe is something that is, you know, one of the many things that are horrible for the earth. So that is great to see that that's being kept in mind. I love the refill element. So when it comes to pros and cons for this, I love, you know, that it doesn't leave a cast. I love the hydration that it gives me. I love that obviously it's an SPF, something easy to put under makeup, and it is a really good moisturizer SPF hybrid. Because sometimes things seem more like an SPF than a moisturizer. Sometimes things seem more like a moisturizer moisturizer than an SPF it's got a really good texture and it is I wouldn't say light as air hydration but it is still very light but very plumping and yeah I really really love the look and feel it gave to my skin but the sweet floral is very intense and did last on my skin for I would say at least an hour if not if not more so definitely something to keep in mind if you have sensitivities to that there's a lot of stuff that I love about this line. I love that Rihanna is attached to it. I love the packaging. I love, you know, the, the marketing and everything behind it is obviously going to, to influence me. I'm always happy to see another SPF that I feel like is friendly for deeper skin and even oilier skin potentially. I think the price point seems pretty good as well. It's kind of about where I expected it to end up. Not super high-end luxury, but obviously not the same price as like a drugstore, although like sometimes things at the drugstore have gotten quite expensive. And I do actually enjoy the feel of all of the products and like I said I've been testing it out for three four weeks I have been using other skincare and, and, and whatnot at the same time but I do feel like I enjoyed it I can't say I got in like in crazy results but it's also not promising crazy results but also it has only been a couple of weeks so there's only so much I can kind of say about it I want to be as transparent as possible to help to help you decide and everybody has such different skin needs as for cons the biggest con is the fragrance i think that that's something that's going to be a hang up for a lot of people i actually don't mind fragranced skincare i prefer something to smell like oranges though over this like florally sweet but uh, that again is going to be very very personal whether you don't like the scent of it or if you have actual sensitivities to added artificial fragrances and and that's going to need to be either something you smell in store or uh, take a look at the ingredients yourself to see if you have sensitivities to the product so overall I do enjoy the line I will continue to use the products and I think that it is great but I do feel like the fragrance is a little bit of a downfall there but that's gonna be personal preference and if that's what Rihanna wants that's what Rihanna gets so <laughs> let me know down below if you plan on trying the line is anything exciting you how do you feel about it how are you feeling about the packaging it looks damn good on a vanity I will say that so <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye